What is up everyone, Clayton here, and that clip right there you saw wasn't really anything special, but I kind of wanted to show you guys some gameplay on a different map. I haven't really got any really good gameplays on uh, different maps, uh, because I kind of forget to record. I had one really good that the recording stopped halfway yes. through for whatever reason, and it was on Courtyard of that map, or that game I showed you there. Uh, but right now we are playing some team deathmatch on the Gears of War Ultimate Edition Beta on Gridlock. Uh, I have a pretty good game here. I think I go like, I think I like start off like 16 and one or some shit. But we end up losing the game just because uh, I kind of beef it at the end of the game. Um, that's kind of what I'm kind of known for, where I like I do really good and then I get too cocky and then things just start to fall apart. Uh, because I played a lot of multiplayer before, um, games. I used to play Call of Duty a bunch. I was like the highest prestige on almost. Uh, all the way up until Modern Warfare 3 when they added 20 prestiges and I used to do game battles and stuff and I used to do a lot of multiplayer but I kinda quit uh, but yeah I kinda wanted to talk about that a little bit here um, about multiplayer games since I've kinda quit playing because uh, this is kind of a drag and it's you kinda have to grind to get leveled up and grind to get good at the games um, even in like Call of Duty people say oh you, need, you don't need skill to play that I mean there's people that are better than other people for a reason it might not be skill, it might be teamwork, but it, there's something. And I really think that this game could kind of be a step in the right direction for the Gears of War community. And maybe for the pro players themselves. And right here we're playing Rihanna Rousey. And some of this is actually sped up just because I don't really want you guys to sit here watching me uh, die a couple times. Um, I figured it would at least be easier to watch a shorter video instead of putting the whole 20 minute uh, video on. But anyways, like I was saying, I think this game is pretty good. I, I've been playing it a bunch. I think about 30 or so games on it. Don't quote me, because I think it might be less than that. Feels like a lot of games. Uh, but yeah, I played a lot of Gears of War 2, and the real main problem with Gears of War 2 was the... Um, what am I trying to say here? The uh, servers. Um, people would get host, and when you had host, host you're kind of godlike. And that kind of ruined the competitiveness of that game because people are like oh you had host that means you're better because host makes the game easier for you you get the more kills and uh yeah i didn't really like that about that game and then gears of war 3 kind of took another step in the right direction uh we had uh dedicated servers as well as that game is felt so fluid it, it was just unbelievable how different it felt from gears of war 2 um, Gears of War 2 is actually my favorite Gears of War. I never really got into Gears of War 1, so that's why I'm kind of excited. Boom, headshot. Um, that's why I'm excited that they're making a remake of it, actually. Because I never actually got around to playing Gears of War 1. Uh, by the time I got Xbox 360, Gears of War 2 was uh, out. But I was like I was saying, Gears of War 3, it was really the step in the right direction, and Judgment kind of, you know, fell back a little bit. I don't like to talk about Gears of War Judgment, because it was so bad, in my opinion. Um, just because I try to Call of duty eyes it. I'm gonna make that a verb now. I'll be right there. We go nine and one in the the first half. But yeah, this game feels a little bit different. This game feels like like old Gears games, like how it feels and plays. But it also kind of has that smoothness of uh, Gears of War three. Um, Cause like if you play Gears of War two, the Gears of War three, Gears of War two feels really bulky. Whenever you try to move the character, you feel like you're gonna like die. That was pretty good fadeaway there. But Gears of War 3 so, felt so fluid, and I feel like this game is like definitely on the right step. And I don't know what other people's opinions about this game are, but my opinion is it's pretty amazing. And like this is probably one of the best games we could ask for. Oh, watch this headshot! So yeah, I'm really happy. I get that cool headshot, and then I freaking mess up my reload. But yeah, this game is probably like the Gears of War community's dream, I guess. We have all this hype with the Ultimate Edition, and then. It, this comes out in August, so I mean, this comes out pretty soon. And then in uh, 2016, around holiday, uh, we get Gears of War 4. Um, but from my understanding, I don't know if not many people are playing the beta. Uh, I think they really should. I mean, it's not anymore because the beta ended. Uh, but my brain problem, main problem with the beta so far, um, is that I can't really get a full game. Um, the loading time or the wait times for getting games is pretty poor. Oh, and I two piece that guy. I feel so bad about it. Uh, if you don't know what two piecing is, it's pretty much like the worst thing you can do in Gears. Um, it's when you melee and then shotgun blast them to kill them. Uh, it's just the worst thing ever. 
I hate people who do it. And I did it there, and I feel bad about it. Uh, but what was I saying? Uh, yeah, the lobby is like, I can never get a full game, it seems like. Uh, a lot of times I have to wait for people to show up, and then after that, people leave in mid game. And I'm only playing social. I get chainsaw. Uh, I'm playing on social because I don't really like playing King of the Hill, and uh, I really hope that they kind of fix something about that because um, it kind of sucks playing Gears and then people just leave your game. Um, because, like, in Guardian, when people leave your game, you kind of lose automatically. I play a lot of Gears War 2, like I said, and without having a person there trying to protect your Guardian, or your leader, you kind of screw rude. Excuse me, as a per pickup. But as you see throughout the game, people are leaving and joining, and it's really bad. Like, me right there. So that's, like, my only main complaint with the game so far. It's like, I know it's in beta, but, like... The, they might have to fix the servers, or I don't know if no one's playing the game because it's in beta. Uh, but I remember the Gears of War 3 beta, I played that, and that was pretty popular. I, I always had games there. Um, I, but I guess this is kind of the time to test out the uh, servers and see if they're any good. And right here, there's too many people. I don't know who to shoot. Yeah, but the Gears of War Ultimate Edition is definitely something that I want to keep going on my channel. Uh, because it's pretty freaking amazing right now. And I'm really happy about it, because, I don't know, it just feels like Gears of War 2. It feels like Gears of War 2, but with dedicated servers, which is, like, the only thing I've ever wanted in life. I know that sounds dumb, but, like, the only thing I ever wanted in life is Gears of War 2 with dedicated servers. Like, I got to level 100 in Gears of War, which, or Gears of War 2, which, if you don't know, Gears of War 2, that takes a long time. And then I had a glitch where I got demoted back to level 1, and, uh, I get bodied there. I got promoted back to level 1, and then I got all the way back up to level 77 before Gears of War 3 came out. But it, yeah, if I'm going to go on a little bit of rant here. But in Gears of War 2, if you got level 100, you got gold guns in Gears of War 3. Like, it was two weeks until Gears of War 3 came out when my account, or like a month or something like that. It was like the day that it got announced if you got a level 100 on Gears of War 2 that you would uh, get these special bonuses. Like the day it came out my account got glitched back to level one so they don't had to level up again in a month and like it's impossible to level up that fast in a month like it was awful and i didn't make it so i didn't get the gold weapons and it sucks i wish maybe they'll do something like that in the uh next game for gears of war ultimate edition or maybe if you're the highest level in gears of war 3 which didn't really take very long i think i'm like level 100 but uh you can get level 100 and you can prestige, like Call of Duty. Uh, I don't know if they'll do that in this game, because you had to prestige, you had to get DLC. And that was really annoying to me. And right here, you can see this guy, I don't know what he's doing. Like, he's just walking around, and then I think he chases this guy, and this guy has boom and shot, and he just downs him. And that's something weird about boom shot in this game, is that uh, it downs you. Like, it doesn't actually kill you. And right there, I'm 18 and 4. And uh, I don't think the game really goes too well from here. Um, and these couple rounds, I try to camp boom because people like rush the boom for whatever reason, and they don't check the corners and they just pick it up. So I was trying to wait for there, and we get like two solid kills here, but like there's nothing going on. Like I don't know. The game looks really pretty. I could say that the water looks really dumb, and like this boom shot right up here. I don't know how this doesn't kill him. Like. That is right at that guy's feet. And then another one, right at his feet. I do get a 10 point assist, which means I did 10% of his damage, or 10 health. Uh, but yeah, I, I really do enjoy this game. I know I'm just kind of rambling on, but uh, I guess the game ca gameplay kind of speaks for itself. That this game looks freaking amazing. And it's only going to be 40 bucks. and if like any excuse to get an Xbox One, I think it would be this. As well as the backwards compatibility on Xboxes. Um, that way you can actually maybe play other Gears games. And I don't know what happens there. Like, I don't know how he bodied me, but I shot him first, and I didn't body him at all. It's really frustrating. Sometimes this uh, randomness of Gears of War kind of gets to me and bothers me a lot more than it should. But anyways, yeah, the beta is almost over, so you're not going to be able to play it. But it, this game does come out in August, so I'll definitely try to pick it up. Because uh, I know I'm going to put a lot of it on my channel. I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, show uh, like the story mode, because it's been out forever. But if you guys want, uh, tell me in the comments down below if you guys want to see uh, Gears of War like uh, 
story mode um, on the channel. Because, you know, multiplayer and, like, commentating over gameplay is not really my forte. As you can tell, I'm just kind of rambling until the time runs out. But yeah, I had a pretty good game here. I'm um, right here. I, I'm trying to help my friend across the map. Or not my friend. This guy on my team lances some enemies down. But then all of a sudden, this guy comes from behind me in a couple seconds. A couple seconds. Yeah, right there. Fucking puts it in my butt. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want more Gears of War on the channel, make sure to leave your comments down below, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and this is Clayton, signing out. And we lost. That's just great. What did I finish with? Is it 18-9? Not, not bad.